Perfect. We're going. All right. So a lot of people, including you guys, have been asking me what is aquaponics and how does the system work? What is aquaponics and how does the system work? Thanks, Bruce. Basically, it's fish feeding plants. That's the whole point of it. Um, uh, we'll start with fish, okay? So, if you pan over right here, this is a regular... Um, if you pan over right now, you can, oh, sorry. You can see that this pan. is uh, a regular fish tank, right? And there's no difference at all between the, this fish tank that I'm using and the fish tank that I'm going to finally use for the aquaponics system. Now, unfortunately, I just don't have the cash to be able to afford big glass tanks. But uh, outside of that, hopefully everything else is going to be pretty similar. Okay? So come on over. So I've, I've drawn this out. So we start with fish. So we've got a regular little fish tank that's going to uh, be cleaned out. This whole thing is connected by one regular water flow. Okay? So the water flows from one place to another to another to another. Now it gets pumped uh, using a regular electrical pump, and we'll get to that. But from here over to here, this is all drip style, and in fact, all the way through here. So the fish is a regular fish tank. It drips into what's called the solids, the solid container. And the solid allows the solids basically the the fish feces to drop to the bottom of the tank I clean that out so that way we don't continually experience problems with clogging and the pump and all sorts of stuff and also the more solids the more you're going to find uh, a high instance of um, of um, um, you know contaminants uh, basically the fish aren't going to be happy so you come from the solids, I take out the solids, and then we move over to the third tank. And the third tank creates an algae and the beneficial bacteria. Now that's going to be basically um, a tank that's full of rocks. I'm not, that's what I'm going to do. Some people use some sort of foam medium, something like that. It has a really wide area, surface area, for the algae and the beneficial and bacteria to hang on to. I'm going to use rocks because that's what we have up here in BC. We've got lots of rocks. So I'll put a big amount of rocks. The water will flow through that the rocks. The algae will develop on the, on the rocks and then move on. That's going to move over to the filtration system. Now from this algae system, it basically, we're still dripping through it's going to drip through into the filtration system. I'm going to have a couple of filters uh, that run in between the this and the pump. Now, in the filtration system, just on the other side of the filtration system, I'm going to have a pump. I have a 110 horsepower pump. That was for a pond. Um, basically, it runs up, and it's going to feed the plant system. Now, the plant's going to be running through a bunch of four inch PVC piping. I'm going to have the plants in little pots up top. Uh, anyone who's who's ever seen hydroponics will probably understand what that looks like. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much what it's going to look like. Once it gets through the plants, it's going to drain through the plants. This pump will probably be on a um, either half on or quarter on three quarters off timing so that way it allows your your roots to dry off slightly and then feed again then dry off then feed you don't want your your roots to be too wet because they get moldy or waterlogged so it'll run through those conduits feed the plants and we're going to have you know regular stuff like tomatoes um, peas beans a uh, bunch of other stuff as well uh, th all of this is going to take place inside of our greenhouse. I've got a greenhouse system that I've got rigged up. But um, once it gets through the plants, then it just automatically drips down into the fish tank. Hmm. Kind of similar to the way that this water drips right down into it. You have a question? 
So why aquaponics and not regular planting? Um, one thing about regular uh, planting in soil is that you get lots and lots and lots of weeds. And um, unless you have a super high raised bed, it's a lot of backbreaking stuff that I really don't like and I don't, I don't really care for. Plus, you get a lot of extra food production out of this because you're constantly feeding in nitrates that the plants need, right? constantly with the fish you're constantly feeding in to the amount of nitrates which is brilliant because then you're not using any sort of uh, chemical uh, outside of you know whatever you're feeding your fish we're going to use fish flakes we're going to have little fish pellets also we've got duckweed to feed the fish it's an organic system that's the benefit i was wondering what a do you do with the solids? Do you move them over by hand or you have an automated way of doing it? Right, we've got an automated system. Uh, basically, you've donated this great uh, uh, water um, water pipe system. So it's kind of like, uh, what's the, 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 um, the water tank system that people have in their offices? We're going to have the water filtering thr going through that in a cyclone. And as it cyclones, you, you pull off the top. You feed in and pull off the top, and the solids all go to the bottom. Okay, so that's what's going to happen with that. We're going to pull the solids and just tank it off whenever we want. Now you guys are going to have a regular, a regular soil garden, so we'll be able to give you free fertilizer from those solids, which is a benefit. We also have we're going to have some tomatoes on the front porch that we'll be able to use that with. You don't want to over fertilizer over nitrate but um, it should be good so when the fish get big what happens to them well mo a lot of people a lot of people are using tilapia uh, in in Canada tilapia are quite regulated and and um, they're regulated because they're not a native species and of course handling a, a, a species that's not native the government worries that it's going to become invasive and that it's going to take over the waterways. So I understand that. So we probably won't be doing it that way. Mm. Yeah. Um, what what we've got right now is we're using regular goldfish. You know, the like uh, what what they call uh, kind of seed fish, just like these guys. These are all almost all goldfish. So yeah. Um, we're not going to use feet, uh, food fish, uh, at least not in the first season, because we want to just make sure that everything's going smoothly. How do, how does the natural system get rid of the solid? So you're you're doing it right. artificially right. In, a, in a sense. Right. So so how does this filtration system work in, in in nature? In nature. Well, there's a lot of different critters that would be eating that sol those solids. Also, the natural development of those solids on the on the um, you know, the ocean, the lake, or the river floor would just develop up. Basically, a sequ sequestration of carbon of of nitrates. Right. Basically, it would just develop. Um, every great place to plant is the place where all of those solids have developed. The Fraser Valley Basin, for instance, is a perfect place where all of these animal solids have wound up over centuries and centuries. Well, millennia, I guess. So. But uh, thank you very much for, uh, for checking out the video. We'll see you next time.